Hello viewers, welcome to today's classes. The topic of discussion today is private Amos and we're going to look at the call of Amos. That is our theory lesson and your teacher is Roger Michira. Let us take you through our theory lessons for today. The station you're watching is Elimu TV. Now class, in today's class, you'll get to look at the visions of Prophet Amos. Remember, last time we did look at the call and the background call of Prophet, Am uh, Prophet Amos, who was Amos, right? But now today, we we'll get, to we'll get to look at the, 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 the call, sorry, the, the visions of Amos. Remember, Amos received his call in form of a vision. Right, so we get to look at what are some of these visions that Am uh, Amos, as a prophet, received. Now, what do we need to expect by the end of the lesson uh, class? We do expect that we are able to discuss the visions of prophet Amos. Welcome all, and let us be ready to learn. Now, class, the first vision Amos received is the vision of locusts. Right, the vision of locusts. So that one, you can get it from uh, the book of Amos, chapter number 7, verse 1 to uh, verse number 3. That is where you get to look at, we get the vision of the locusts. So Amos saw a swarm of locusts being sent by God to destroy all plants and food. So now the, the locusts were a sign of disaster, which, were, which God was sending to Israel as a punishment for their disobedience. But again... Amos pleaded with God and God forgave them. Now, this is a, you know what locusts can do? Recently, Kenya, we witnessed the, uh, the, 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 the issue of locusts, right? From no, 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 northeastern, all along to Lamu, Meru, right? Ending up to western, the, 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 western, the western counties, right? And you saw the, the, the destruction the locusts can cause. That is the same vision that Amos saw, a swarm of locusts. And remember, they destroyed all the, 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 the green plants. They destroyed all plants and all, uh, all crops in the land. This was a, a sign of a disaster that God was sending to the Israelites. Right? Now, through that, however, we can get to see that Amos, however, Amos uh, pleaded with God and God forgave the Israelites. Let us look at the, the swarm of locusts. You can look at them. Yes, they are there. Those are the, the locusts, right? That was the first vision of Amos. Now, the second vision of Amos was the vision of fire. Good. The vision of, uh, of fire. So Amos saw a vision of a supernatural fire that burnt up the land. But again, Amos asked God to forgive the people and God listened. Now, we, can, we, we, we have looked at the first uh, vision whereby God sent locusts, but Amos pleaded with God and God forgave them. And look here, the second vision, the vision of fire, right? God is sending a great fire to destroy all everything on, on, on earth, on the land. But again, Amos pleaded with God and God forgave the Israelites. Look at that. That's the vision of fire, right? Great fire. Now, the third vision is the vision of a crooked wall and the plumb, uh, plumb line, right? The vision of a crooked wall and the, bl uh, the, the plumb the, the plumb line, good. You know, you know, you, you know the the plumb uh, line, right? The one that checks the the straightness, right, of a wall, used by the, the masonry people to check the straightness of the wall. Now Amos saw the Lord standing beside the wall, checked it with a, a plumb line, right? So God was standing beside a wall and was checking the wall using a plumb line. The wall represented the Israelites. Right, you can get to see the, the first, uh, the first wall. Good, the first wall. There it is, the first wall. Now it must be straight, right? It must be straight. It must be straight. But again, God realized that the Israelites were not straight in what in whatever they were doing. Right, that is why God uses uh, the vision of a, a crooked wall and the plumb line. Good. You can see the, se the, the, the second image there that let justice roll down uh, like water. Right now, that that that, that is uh, the the, the plumb line rolling down, right, rolling down the wall. So God is checking the ways of the Israelites. Let us look at the fourth vision, the vision of a bla uh, basket of ripe ripe uh, fruits. Right, Amos saw a basket of uh, ripe fruits. 
fruits are harvested at the end of the summer, as always, right? This meant that Israel was ripe for punishment, right? Because they had refused to turn to God. Now, remember, those are uh, ripe, ripe fruits, right? When you, when you have got ripe fruits, they cannot stay for long. For example, if you have got ripe, uh, ripe, uh, ripe bananas, right? Ripe uh, pineapples, ripe grapes, right? They cannot stay for long, meaning the Israelites now were ripe for punishment. Look at that. Look at, uh, look at the, 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 the ripe uh, 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 fruits, good. It shows that Israel was now ripe for punishment, for they had refused to turn to God. The fifth vision is the vision of the destruction of the altar. Can we get to look at what does it talk about? I'm also the Lord standing by the altar. The Lord ordered the destruction of the temple, right? Now, the shrines of, of Dan and Bethel were destroyed because they were centers of idolatry. Remember this? We had two, 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 two shrines, right? Two altars, one at Bethel and one at Dan. Now, these shrines were also destroyed because they were center of idolatry. No one could escape this punishment, no matter where they could hide. No one could uh, evade, this, uh, avoid, evade this punishment. Look at that. Look at God, how God destroyed the altar. There it is. You can get with that. Good. Now, class, we have basically looked at the visions of Amos. You have looked at the vision of Locus, right? Vision of Great Fire, the crooked wall and the plumber line, right? The ripe uh, basket of fruits, and finally, the destruction of the altar. For our assignment class, can you get to state the visions of Prophet Amos? And as for your reference, there's a reference on your, on your screen. Get to use that reference. And as always, this is the Limit TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. This was your teacher, Roger Mishira. Stay tuned in for another class. Thank you.